Let's start now with that breaking news out of Norfolk where two officers were hurt in an early morning crash. Rico Bush is near the crash scene at the intersection of Llewellyn and Delaware Avenues in the Colonial Place neighborhood. And Rico, both officers are out of the cruiser and at the hospital. How are they doing this morning? Well, hey, Don uh, and Katie, we were briefed from the Norfolk Police Department information officer about an hour ago, and we learned that both of those officers are men. One is in critical condition. The other officer is in serious condition. Take a look right now. You can see a crash team investigators on scene right now. They will be determining how fast that vehicle was going before it went off the roadway. They also will be trying to figure out when it went off the roadway and what happened prior to it going off the road. Now, police tell us just before five this morning that police car somehow swerved off the roadway and into that ditch and into that marsh. We do have video overnight that we want to show you of uh, the uh, recovery uh, effort, the uh, police trying to investigate this matter. Now, they say the passenger possibly was injected from the vehicle and taken to the hospital. That was the first officer taken to the hospital in serious condition. The driver was trapped inside that vehicle for more than an hour before paramedics and firefighters and emergency teams were able to remove him uh, from the vehicle. Now we do have um, the uh, witness we talked to earlier this morning and she said she was driving down the road on Llewellyn when she says a tan colored vehicle passed her driving very uh, fast in this area. A number of police cars followed one police car swerved around her and lost control, flipped multiple times. She believes it's this one, of course, that we're looking at, and another one or two stopped to help with that accident. One officer continued to uh, follow that tan color vehicle we just mentioned. Now, we were here earlier this morning. We saw police take chunks off this vehicle as they try to get that uh, trapped officer uh, removed from the vehicle this morning. Now, again, they are both at the hospital. Uh, they are. Um, going through recovery efforts right now. We are told that police are not releasing the names of those officers until they make contact with their all immediate family. We do know uh, that their crisis unit has been activated uh, for the officers in the Norfolk Police Department as well as for the officers families involved in this uh, accident here. Um, again, crash team investigators still investigating. They tell us that this road will be closed down indefinitely until they complete their investigation. Uh, but now for now, that's the latest here in Norfolk. Don, Katie, back to you.